Hi and welcome to another video. As you may have noticed, I changed the name of my channel to This Shafi School of Thought or in short, T-S-S-O-T. -S I know it sounds weird but you guys will catch the hang of it. So, if you have been abroad to study, more often than not you're going to end up in an international student's class. And once you are there, you're going to get first-hand experience of different cultures all over the world. You will also witness weird similarities among the most unexpected countries all over the world. So, a brief introduction about myself, I was in China for the last five years on a study basis. Which basically means, yes, I can speak Chinese and I really love speaking Chinese. Moving on, let's go to the whiteboard. So, when you are in an international student's class, you're going to figure out sooner or later that everybody types his love differently. So, assume your teacher walks in class one day and he says, everybody should spell this. <laughs> I, being an English speaker, will just sound it out like ha ha ha, h a h a h a. If it's super long, I'll just make it longer like ha 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 ha, h a h a h a. And if I'm having a lazy day, I'll just write l o l, which means laugh out loud. My French classmate is closely related to me, so he'll say something like ha 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 with an accent or m t a r, because he's French. My Chinese classmate will laugh ha ha or ha ha. Which, if you basically type it in English, will just be HHH. This is closely related to my Arabic classmate who will laugh ha, 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 ha. And as we all know, Arabic has no vowels, so that will be spelled in English as HHHHH. I see it and think, this guy is laughing. <sighs> anyway, my Ukrainian classmate is also not far away since he laughs HHHHH too. And sometimes, just to spice it up, he laughs BHHHH, which according to me is just. <sighs> My Korean classmate will love HHHHH too, but sometimes he will love KKKKK. We all know who loves KKKKK. That's right, of course, the Somali community. KKKKK, which to me sounds like. Now, here is where things take a different turn. Since my Portuguese friend not only says KKKK, but sometimes he also says RSRSRS. Which basically sounds like rrs, 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 rrs. And since we are on weird lane, let's just move on to my Thai friends who love 55555. I can't make a sound of that, but I'll tell you something. 55555 in Chinese means crying, while sometimes Chinese laugh 23333. If you think I'm making one of these things up, go find somebody from these nationalities and ask them. And if they don't know, then they're not up to date. Let's move on from the place before it decided to take a wrong turn. KKKKK. So, uh, my Indonesian friend would love WKWKWK, which sounds like wok 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 wok. For some strange reason, my Japanese friends love hoo 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 hoo, but when they spell it, they spell it www, which sounds like a website. My Vietnamese friend will love he 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 he, which is oh, okay. My Russian friends will love XA XA XA. X is a weird letter. In Chinese, it's pronounced as S. In Somali, it's pronounced as H. In Mexico, it's pronounced as H. In Hosa, it's pronounced as K. So I can't pronounce that laughter, but I can tell you something. I know Ololololo. We all know Spanish laugh, J A J A J A, which according to me sounds Ja 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 Ja. But looking back at Jose, I think this makes a little bit of sense. I just don't know why J is H. And you will all fail if your teacher is from Norway, because this is how he will be laughing. I'm sorry, I can't spell that. I didn't learn it yet. Anyway, if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share.